Welcome to everybody, this is Rampain and welcome back to my Morrowind Let's Play, where we're going to continue with the from last time. So today we need to cure myself of uh, Blight, because I don't want to be crippled. So, let's see, right now, we need to... Is there another Traveler rank? Um, very worried about the Corpus disease. Best chance is... Cure is... Divius and Theater. Um, an Ancient Telvani Wizard. They are in Tel Theater. Where the hell is Telfir again? Uh, was I able to... Let me let me try and ask him where Telfir is. Because I don't want to just cheat and look it up. Uh, yeah, Telfir, okay. Uh, Telfir is his tower. It is southwest of Satrath Mora, on an island of the southwestern edge of Zelfir Bay. You'll be marked on your map. There's a dock, but no boat, boat service, so you'll have to water walk or swim from Satrath Mora. Use the guild guide service of the Lord Mage Guild to reach Satrath Mora. Okay, so we can easily get to. Okay, that's not too bad, because that's right. Yeah, that's right there. That's not that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay, now I actually have an idea of where I'm going. So let's see, yeah, I've used the Mage's Guild to teleport over there. And then I can... He actually gave me some scrolls, or I can just use my own magic. Either or, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, let me check if the Mage's Guild has reset their potions. Ah, uh, let's see, is this a new one? Uh, the Sixth House is Risen, and Dagoth is Explorer. You have defiled my guide, my lord Dagoth, and his judgment is death. Flee and high or die where you stand. But you're not attacking me, so I'm not gonna worry too much. Uh, da -da -da, there we go. Mage's Guild, guys, reset your potions. Please tell me you reset your potions. Oh yes, they have actually. Let's get the restore magica. Actually, before I leave, because that means the Ma uh, Fighters Guild has also reset their potions. I have so many things to repair stuff with. That's one of the main reasons why I have so much fucking crap on me right now. Um, let me actually use a bunch of those. Uh, too many of these things. Like, please take as many as you want. I have too many of them. There we go. And I used up uh, also more potions. Uh, I could sell more potions to get that up, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, okay, let's get going then. Teleport to Sabbath Mora, talk to the man in the tower, hopefully cure my disease rather easily, and then I think from there, maybe since I'm already at the Sabbath Mora area, maybe I should start doing the Telvanni stuff. I'm here. Because it sounds like I am not extremely far in the main quest line, so I can try and take some time and do my other stuff. Although I feel like I maybe want to do, um, maybe want to. Oh god, I have to get here. Maybe do Solstein first, just because I already have something for help? there. Uh, I forgot how to get out of here. And I'll do that because I think from Sand with Mora I can go to. Um, well, the closest one's going to be Alvalothi. That'll be the closest settlement. Uh, can I take a ship to Alvalothi? I think I can. Okay, so I'm right here. It's literally that direction. So let me just. How much magic do I have right now? 52. I can use my own Levitate spell. Because I'm mage! Should have lasted me the duration, I feel like. He's not too far away. Let's make sure I'm above the water in case I fall to my death. And I can't really see. Once I land, I'll try and get a better view of what's going on and how far away it really is. Uh, this is not going to last the entire duration. Uh, we're almost there. I think that's the tower right over there. Ow. Okay, let me try and wait, just so I can actually see... Oh, didn't mean to... Well, that's a little better, actually. I can kind of see now, but let's rest a little bit longer. Just so I can actually see. Hi. 
Well, first I should use the axe. I would prefer that. Still need to upgrade the skill in this. Because otherwise I just don't get anything from using my sword right now. If I need if I'm in a pinch, obviously I need to use it. Oh yeah, this is definitely is down. Okay, so we want to go to I think we want to go to Solstein first. Just because I do have the thing to find the airship. So maybe we should do that first. Oh, I forgot to drop this gauntlet off. Shit. I'll have to drop that back off in Balmora. Because I don't think I'm going to sell it just yet. I could. And then I could make a ton of money. Um, and get a ton of level ups. Um, but I think we're going to wait. Talk to Fyr. And I need to talk to... Devith Fia. Vayet Fia. No, they said that they sometimes like to teleport to areas or well, levitate. They don't like stairs or ladders or anything like that. Uh, I don't see anything yet. Oh. Servant's Skull. Let me see if there's any of these books that are actually useful to read, possibly. They don't look like it. None of them look like they're worth enough. That would give a skill up. No, neither of those. Uh, nothing in here. Random red. Oh, that I'll definitely read. Alteration increased. So you're not the one I'm looking for. Um, is it over here? so hard to move through these areas. Jelsefir. It's locked. There's some stuff over here. Uh, oh, there it is. Bronzor to Procyon. I'm assuming he's in here. Ah, you know him. Let's see, I am Viscera Kai, Warden of the Corpsarium. I'm here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. Good to know. I don't intend to. I intend to try and get cured of corpus. Oh, it's because they're literally infected. Okay, well, I won't attack them. Let's run past them. Um, I just need to find the man I'm looking for. I just don't know where he is. Maybe I should have asked. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Yeah. Oh, fuck. I almost made that. Okay, let me actually ask him about that. Oh, I can't even ask him. Okay, um... Is he? I have a different chance, I want it. Uh, what if I do? They'll kill me, or he'll want to kill me. I want to take stuff, though. Is he in this goddamn God place? Although, actually, I don't have a spell strong enough to open that chest. If I did, I would definitely take it, but I don't. I feel like it's gonna be that one I have to go through, but I might as well check these other areas first. There's nothing here. Oh, just more chests to fucking tempt me. Let's see, this is the. What was that in the bowels? Da, 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 da. Where can you be, my good son? Oh, this is the other side of the thing I just was already at. Okay, so it's not down there. So, oh, is this what I need? What was for? Can you tell me where the fuck he is? Oh, you're new here, aren't you? My name is Oops, Oops, Fyr. I take care of the corpus victims. 
Uh, do not harm me, or you will be very sorry. I warn you, leave me alone, and I'll leave you alone. Disappearance of the divorce. <laughs> sure. Wait, you're actually gonna give me something about that? Let's see. Hmm. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in the outer realm at the time, and when I came back, my people were gone. I left the Red Mountain, wandering Tamari out for years, searching for our deserted colonies. Looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to the mountain, Red Mountain, still looking for answers. So, I found Corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories if you are interested. Sure. Um, Lord Kagranak. <laughs> Uh, the foremost arcane philosopher and mage crafter of my era, devised tools to shape my mythopoetic, no, mythopoetic? Oh, I can't tell if that's an IRT. Uh, forces intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in reviewing this formula, some logicians uh, argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think uh, Kagranak might have succeeded in granting a race eternal life with unforeseen consequences such as wholesale displacement to the outer realm or may have or he may have a red and outer destroyed our race okay that's actually rather interesting um all these ornate dwemer chests and they're just tempting me okay so where is he then? i found his friend to the Corpusarium, and I already was in that area. And I've gone that way. Okay, let's try going one more time. So I found one guy. That's not the man I need. I need the other one. And this just goes up here. Is there no other area? this for a second because is Judith Theater an ancient Tavani wizard who runs the corpus sign for victims of the disease um, is he not okay where the hell is he Okay, he's found at the top of a tower. So, I'm in the wrong location. So, I need to see if there's a... Way up there? Or maybe I just have to fly up there? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I haven't seen any of the uh, passages that look like they're the ones you can kind of travel through. Off here. What was this other one I just passed, though? Who's the t at the top? Is there another door somewhere nearby? Maybe? Yes. Yeah. Oh, in over there so I guess it is just a maze to find the top of the tower <laughs> shit okay well if he's at the top let's go up this way oh. so there's something I missed up here there's no ceiling to climb fly through can I talk, about, uh, talk to you guys He is not on this list. No, nothing here. God damn it, where the fuck is he? Because I don't see any other way to go farther up. I can't. Oh, wait. Come to plant a dungeon, or do you you got corpus disease? Did you come to see Devith Fear? I'm Fear. I'm the wife of him. I'm his wife. Well, one of them, sort of. Uh, yes, I am here to see him. Uh, he's up above in his study. I hope you can fly 
you can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. So up above in his study. So literally. Uh, quick save. So I mean, there is an entrance up here, it seems. Where the fuck is it? Is the question. As I can get up here. I can most certainly get up here. But how do I get in is the question. Okay, so no, it is inside the goddamn building. <laughs> because it's supposed to be when I enter Telfir. There's a compartment on the right side, so I enter here. Take a right. And there is something I can fly into. Oh! You son of a bitch. It was right here this time entire time. Aha! This is the son of a bitch. Let's see. Say that's an interesting Dwemer piece you got there. What can you tell me about it? Um, let's see. I'm offering it as a gift. A gift for me. How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So why have you tried to butter me up? Come to insult the great uh, Dipathfir? You have the divine disease, want to plunder the dungeon, or leer at my daughters. I have uh, the disease. Let's see. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcerer or enchantment. I'm persuaded that it is in some some manner the curse or blessing of a god, press both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It says the mind, it, well, it saps the mind and destroys the body. But to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery, a riddle worth a long lifetime study. That helps so much, I'm trying to cure myself. Um, how interesting. Did you know that the corpse makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of prophecies for the Nerebeen? After to say the Nerebeen will be immune to disease, I've always thought maybe I had the Nerebeen down in my corpsarium, and I don't even know it. Haha. <laughs> the Nerebeen is a fat, disgusting corpse monster, and, and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, let's see. I tell him nothing about the Nervine prophecies. Ooh, do I want to tell him about that or no? Let's let's tell him. That is a fascinating story you tell. So you might be the Nervine means nothing, of course. Corpse victims have all sorts of illusions, but let me think. <laughs> um, I've got a potion in theory. It could cure corpus. Doesn't work though. I'll probably kill you. Killed all of my test subjects, but you've got nothing to lose before I give it to you. Um, I want you to look around below in the corpusarium. Uh, know what's in the store if you don't if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim uh, that calls himself Yagram Baron Bagaran, uh, my oldest patient, and he fellow fixes things for me. Bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. Okay, so, I guess. Um, and actually, do I have a? I'm just trying to have a thing of slow fall, so I don't have to waste my potions to get back up, or my spells to get back up. Jump. It's not gonna help though. Oh, uh, come on. Mm. No. Do I need potions of soulful? I need some more levity ones. I'd like to just use slow fall though, since I don't need to get back up here just yet. No. I wonder if it just fell. That works. <laughs> Who needs to waste magic when we can just do that? Okay, so now we have to actually go down into the corpusarium and find those boots. I think it was actually the guy 
the uh, dwarf dude that I talked to that he's referencing. So, because he was saying, talk to Jaegrim Baganon. Baganon. So that should be the dude that's over here. I believe. Or are these things like actually named? No, they're just named Corpus. Yep, you are. It's this one. Um, I have Lord uh, Fyodor's boots. That's what they're here for, aren't you? Yes, I am. You obtained me these enchanted boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of the crescent, and little wonder the fellow came to a bad end. But I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. Such a pair of boots could still be fashioned these nine latter days, but I have done my best. Talk to him with my sincere apologies. Sure. What are the boots? Have a one to thirty. It's a well one to one hundred points for thirty seconds on self. Why are they flowed? <laughs> I might just use that as a way to get back up there. I don't know if he'll be pissy about me putting his boots on, um, because that will just be an easy way to get back up there. It's kind of doing the time. Ah, uh, okay, good. For a moment, I thought I didn't restart my timer. Okay, no, let's give him back the boots. Oh, can I keep these boots, please? That'd be nice. Just having to levitate for 30 seconds. I just, like, indefinitely. That'd be great. Well, not indefinitely. I'd have to keep reapplying it. Uh, okay, now that's to Telfir. I need to go this way. And then it's up here. Okay, I'm gonna quick save in case he gets pissed. <laughs> but, oh, wait, no, if I do that. Fuck. I'll have to. No, I do have that spell, don't I still? Yeah, but it costs 15. I have enough, but nah, let's just not worry about it. I can just use one of my potions. Is that one for 15 seconds? That'll do. There he is. Let's see. Um, yep, I have your boots. Oh, okay. Got the potion. Uh, the boot, brutes first, please, and now I'll give you the potion. On the following condition, you must drink it here. Before my eyes, it should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed. Um, sure. Yep, here, give me the potion, and you can have your boots. Oh, God. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good, now swallow. Goodness, good grief. Look, look, it's working. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of disease at all. Of course you still have corpus disease, just like I planned, but all of your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate mates, but I'll answer any questions you have before you- Oh, come on, you jackass. What the fuck? See, no more symptoms. Amazing. Bit surprised myself. <laughs> you jackass. What? Or is this corpus disease 100%? Resist blight disease 100%. Oh, yes. Thank God. Nice. That's actually really goddamn useful. Okay, let's go back down before I waste my levitation. Um, okay, so now I'm actually just immune to it. Awesome. That would be very useful for when I want to fight those jackasses. Okay, so I think now... Now that I'm cured... Um, we're going to have to go back to Balmora... Let's go back to Balmora, and let's go to Solstein. Let's go to Solstein. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, I think, from the main story now that I'm cured of um, corpus disease. Let's go to Solstein, so I'll try and get to Alvalothi. I'm trying to remember if I can actually just straight up, um, like, sail there from someplace. I'm trying to remember if I can. Otherwise, it won't take me too long to really get there. It'll be instantaneous for you guys. But I'm going to meet you guys back in Balmora. I know I need to drop off uh, this Fist of Randagov, because I would like to use heavy armor, but at the moment I can't. Um, we'll have to get there eventually. Actually, this reminds me about the fact that I know I need to... Um, I need to make it so that I, when I play through Oblivion, I'm actually going to go through with a custom class. I initially went through uh, Morrowind without a custom class to try and get the full experience of playing Morrowind, um, but I know for myself, looking back now, I'd change so many of these things. It's like, 
Okay, medium armor, change that to heavy armor. I'd probably still... I, I wouldn't have enchant as one of my other things. I still have long blade, uh, destruction, alteration, restoration, and block. But my minor skills I'd definitely change around because I'd want to have that be like heavy armor. So I can use that. Although that's... Well, I'll probably have to do something else for endurance. Um, but no, let's go stop back in Balmora. I am going to talk to Caius before we head back, or we head to Balmora, so that I can at least know what's next, um, and that'll be saved on my um, in my journal. But I think we want to go. To, I want to go to Solstein for a little bit, and we're going to go explore that. We're going to try and find that airship that was brought up in Alvorosi way long ago. And fuck, I forgot what the Mage's Guild is in here. I can just take the boats. That can work. But I'll see you guys back. Okay, so now we're back in Belmora. So I'm first gonna talk to Caius, and then we're gonna stop by my storage corpse, drop some things off there. I think I'm then gonna stop by Alvalothi, so I can try and talk to that guy again and remind myself, oh yeah, this is what was going on with that airship. Um, to maybe get a better idea of where it might be on Solstein. Because I don't wanna just randomly go explore the entire island like wondering, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is everything? Um, just so maybe we have a better idea of where we're looking for that specifically. Um, and I don't know if there's any other specific quest lines for Solstein. I'm sure people will tell me if, I, if I'm wrong about that or not. Um, let's see. Dorothea Mattel, thank you for your report. I'm very happy you've been cured. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to Operative and will head the blades here in Vornfell until I return. Okay. Um, I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Okay, uh, what are my final orders? Um, continue pursuing the Nerevine prophecies as the Emperor commands. First go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. Get Mithra Milo to help you find the lost prophecies. Uh, she's been watching, she, she's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code, um, code word Amaya. Then take the Lost Prophecies to Nimimesa. From the, then that point, you'll have to follow the, her directions and the prophecies. Good luck. Okay, so what do I get from being an operative? Oh. Okay, so let's see. Um, that makes you... Well, that makes you the ranking Blaze agent here in Barnfell District. As far as I know, there may be other Blaze agents here. I don't know about... It wouldn't surprise me. It may be I may be gone a while, and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold, and you can use the house I have until I return. And I won't be needing these black uh, these blacks or greens while I'm in Cyrodiil. Um, maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. Why'd you just give me your pant and shirts and stuff like that? Okay. Um, and then let's, what about the head of the place? There's nothing to it. Each agent has its own assignment, and reports directly to Cyrodiil. Okay, don't worry about the six quarters and squabbles. Cause the rest of the political nonsense doesn't matter about. Them. Okay. Must preserve your independence. You're no fool. The ways of the empire are almost over. Um, when the empire di um, emperor dies, nine hells are going to break loose. Forget about the imperial city. Think locally. Worry about the sixth house in Dagothor, and squabble between the great houses and the colonists. And the rest of the political nonsense doesn't amount to a plot of skull. Okay. No. Sure. Um. I guess, yeah. Um, what did you give me? Fortify Sneak. Chameleon. Ooh. Those actually might be useful, honestly. And then the ring. What's the ring do? Uh, which one is it? So it's just called Caius's ring. Yeah, Caius's ring. So fortify luck and fortify security. Okay, that's not too helpful for me, I guess. But okay. Um, alrighty, let's go drop stuff off at my swords corpse, and maybe we should try and level up more before we leave. Maybe at least get some stuff from the mages guild. I think that can work out. Might as well, because then I can, I just have I just have to switch out my potions, switch out the fortify intelligence ones. Um, other potions, like sell one of them, get a bit more training um, in Conjuration, and then I'll have all the intelligence I need for my next level up. I'll just have to keep getting more endurance and strength and whatnot. 
still kind of sucks that the max I can get it to is 100 for each stat. I wish I could do more. That'd be great. Okay, storage corpse. Oh god, it takes so long to load now. Um, okay, drop off the glove because I'm not going to use the glove. Um, I can really use that. The chameleon, though. No, I'm not a sneaky character. I am not a sneaky character on this guy. Okay, grab the drain fatigue ones. I'll sell one of those. Actually, I only literally need like one potion. Unless I want all the power. Do I want all the power? I want all the power. And then I just need to drop this stuff off. At least there's not too much that I don't feel like I need to cut this out. Because usually I have so much crap on me that I have to cut this out, otherwise I feel like I'm gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna do that, that's everything. Alrighty then. I'm going to meet you guys in Aldrun. Um, actually, I just realized there will be more stuff when I, if I want to level up. So I'll just meet you guys in Aldrun. Okay, so I leveled up just before I went to Aldrun. We have another one of these. Although, nothing really happened. Okay then. Oh, what the f- Why are you in here? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, what? Uh, Sixth House Cultist attacked me as I slept in my bed. I was in the middle of the mages- Fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna question it. Uh, no, let's now actually go to Al Belothi. Or Al I mean, sorry. Um, nope, not spells. Travel. Actually, before I leave, let me see if there are any spells I want, actually. It's been a while since I've checked spells. Um, these are all bound weapons. I don't know if I'm gonna really ever use a bound weapon. Reflect, though, could be useful. Soul Trap. Spell Trigger. Spell Absorption, actually. That's gonna be really useful for me. I'm definitely gonna get Spell Absorption. Uh, no, those are really interesting. Um, what do you got? No, you don't have any spells. You have some spell. Oh, not persuasion. Spells. <sighs> Fire shield, charming touch. Ah, uh, maybe that could be useful. Cold creature fire, buoyancy. No. Water breathing could be useful, maybe. Weakness, shield strong, great. Points. Nah, I don't, don't want any of those. Um, what kind of spells do you have? You have spell absorption. It's the same one as the one I just bought. Antidote. Your poison. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Restore fatigue, health strong. That's basically 25 health. Eh, what's the one I currently have? That's like, what, 15 health roughly? That was just straight 15 points. Cost 10. This other one costs. What was it? 16. 50% more. Yeah, that's, not, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's grab that. Um, those are all restored companion stuff. I think that's about it for that. Dispel. That's on self. Uh, I might actually make myself blind if I do that. Um, and then you. What do you have for spells? You've got a bunch of more aggressive ones. Bound longbow, bound helm, bound boots. Poison's touch. Feather? Ooh, feather would be nice. Burden. Fuddle. Ube, earwing. Poison. Paralysis. Paralysis. Ooh, paralysis would be very useful. Five to twenty-five points. Cost six. You know, let's get all of these. I, I can see them all being useful. Okay, so that should be good on spells. And then now let's actually travel to um, Alrun. I'm going to talk to the man that gave me the um, initial quest to try and go find the airship. Just kind of touch base with him again because it's been... I don't even know how long. <laughs> I don't want to try and find that um, discussion and where it is in my journal, although I feel like I'm still going to try and find it at some point. Because that was a very long time ago. Like, it took me five months to talk to Caius again. I was back for like a month-ish, I think. Let me check my journal. 
Oh god. That's still so nice. Yeah, I was gone I was back for like almost a month, like three weeks talking to Caius and working with him again. But then I'm back. <laughs> what are some of the questions I can actually do? I'm not gonna go. Yes, you, Louis Bruchamp. Um, let's see. You're here, and while well, you returned, what news? Uh, I'm still working on it. Oh, of course, there's a complete. That is my complete and total confidence. Um, yeah, you know, let's try and get new about that. Remind myself about. It. See, I suppose I should well have got myself, but that flying cold weather and will make danger. I'm trying to remember where it was without having to look. It. I'm gonna just have to look in my fucking journal. God damn. Okay, so let's go back. So let's see. So, uh, no, things further. No. no. That's the bad people one. Um, I think it was. Spine Master. I feel like I'm past it. I can just remind myself. This is, oh, this is like how far back I was with Caius, and now it's further this way. That's when I was in Pelagaid. That's when I was in Vivac. Because I went to Vivac, and then I kind of went north. Stuff for the Mages Guild. That's still in Vivek. This is why I'm still talking in Vivek. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, I met Louis Bouchamp outside. Oh god, it's been f it's also been five months for this guy. Um, let's see. Apparently, he used Magicka and some patch together Dwemer technology to make his own airship and then commissioned a crew to fly north to the frozen isle of Souls Time in search of a powerful magic item. The airship hasn't returned, and he's getting worried. He wants to hire me to discover what happened to the airship and its crew and recover the amulet. So I agreed to help him discover what happened to the airship and recover the amulet of the infectious charm. The crew was to fly into Souls Time and search a burrow located at the eye of a wolf-shaped formation called Hrothman's Bane which is only visible from the air. In order to gain entrance to the burrow, one must utter the name of the wolf that killed uh, Rothmund Onjid. On Onjid? Uh, if the wrong name is spoken, the crypt will be sealed forever. Okay, take note, this is on day 26. Almost exactly, literally, like, five months before. So, let's... Can I take a... I can take a self to like, work it off. Actually, let me go to Guinness. I think I can take one to Guinness. That'll give me a little closer. I want to try and get to the island itself, actually. Travel to Guinness. This is going to get me as close as I can. I'm going to try and touch base. And touch, well, just make ground. Of land at uh, Solstein. And then we're going to kind of do the exploring in the next video. So it is in that direction. I made sure to stock up on a lot of potions, so let's go! I have a lot of magic of potions right now, so I'm going to fly all the way to Solstein. I need to make sure that I don't run out of magic, but we should be fine. I'm just going to fly all the way there, and then we'll do my exploring in the next video. Maybe I should have gotten the spell to, or some scrolls to transport myself back to... Um, a shrine, but I kind of forgot to do that, so we're just gonna fly. This, I think I might honestly just kind of speed this up, because it's gonna take me a while to fly all the way over there, um, because this is gonna be pretty boring, so I'll actually kind of just see you guys there, or I'll speed this up while I fly over. Oh, I can see it on the horizon. There's Solstein. Just about to make landfall.
perfect. Yeah, no, I think this would be a good place to stop once I've set foot. Oh god, it's weird to see normal trees. Here. Okay. We've landed. Now for us is time for us to explore Solstein. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, wonderful greeting. Uh, can I actually kill you? Oh, this might be something I can actually. These are supposed to be like level like what 20 areas? I am not gonna joke around here. I will face you honestly. Fuck. Are you gonna stay dead? Okay, I think she's dead. Let's hope they stay dead. I'm disposing of the corpse just in case. They should now stay dead. Okay, I'm gonna end this video for now. Um, we'll continue exploring Soulstein when I come back. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please make me why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord, it's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.